time to call your lawyer. As we do on Wednesday mornings, asking him questions that you submit. And if you would like to ask a question of our of our expert, Bruce Elshiner, you're certainly welcome to. If you've got a legal situation unfolding that you don't understand, he's here to help. Be Today's question, I must say, is be sort of disturbing in that... Uh, yes. In that it's the second week in a row we've dealt with a motorcycle situation. And and that, to me, signals that you and I driving four-wheel vehicles are not paying enough attention. At least that's on the surface what I'm guessing here. But let's find out what Bruce thinks of today's question. And then I'll tell you how to submit a question for future consideration. Please understand that what you're about to hear should in no way represent legal advice in your specific situation. Nobody can do that until you sit down across from a professional and get a consultation. Now, many attorneys offer free consultations. I know Bruce Shiner does. So it makes sense to sit down and ask the questions face-to-face to get some specific legal advice rather than something general on the radio. Still, it's interesting to learn about the law as we do with these segments. Ask the Lawyer on Kicks Country 92.9. So let's make welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Once again, good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. How's today treating you? Today seems to be treating me just fine. Well, Bruce, we have uh, another question. It seems um, like lately we've been talking about some motorcycle accidents. We've got another one today, which makes me feel good because I know that you have a great deal of experience when it comes to motorcycle accidents. So I feel like we're going to the, the right source. I'm happy to give it a try. All right. Here's what the question says. My husband was riding his motorcycle parallel to the beach in Venice when... All of a sudden, a car pulled out in front of him. My husband just got out of intensive care and will need a lot of medical attention. I got out our insurance policy, and I think we have full coverage, including uninsured motorist coverage. But the policy indicated we had stacking coverage, which is a term I never heard of before. Is this a good thing? Do we still need to talk with a lawyer if we have full coverage? The other driver only had minimum coverage. And uh, that, too, is something we talk about frequently, is uninsured motorists. So, Bruce, have at it. Well, let me start from the back and go forward. Mm -hmm. First of all, the question was, do we need to talk to a lawyer? Mm -hmm. And, And the answer is absolutely yes. It's so important to retain a lawyer when you have a personal injury claim. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, several years ago, Allstate did a survey, and their survey found that people who retained a lawyer in personal injury claims, on average, their settlement was three times higher than people who didn't huh. retain a lawyer. Interesting. So, That's very important to keep in mind. More importantly, this person who had the uh, motorcycle accident has several vehicles with stacking coverage. A lot of times the insurance companies don't give you the straight scoop as far as what stacking means and how it works. Yes. You know, and most importantly, they don't evaluate the case to uh, provide you with the type of compensation you deserve when you're involved with... uh, an accident that requires you to go to intensive care. Sure. But stacking means that you stack or you add up coverage for uninsured motors for each vehicle you have. So if you had five vehicles and each of them had 100, 300,000 of bodily injury liability coverage, you would have 500,000 over 1,500,000 in uninsured motorist coverage, which means that any one person involved in the accident that's entitled to the uninsured motorist coverage would be entitled to recover up to Mm $500,000. And and all the parties together that were injured in the accident would be entitled to claim up to $1,500,000. So... The stacking, as she puts it here, is that a good thing? In this case, yes, that's a good thing. It's always a good thing. It's it's a great thing. Yeah. The question, do we still need to talk with a lawyer if we have full coverage? I know you already addressed that. I just wanted to throw my two cents in here. Prior to getting to know Bruce Shiner, I would not have been able to tell you what stacking coverage means. And so if I had been in this situation, I would have gone to the insurance company and just taken their word for what it means and what it meant for my situation. 
So that's why I emphasize all the time to anybody who asks me, you go talk to a professional because they know what that means and they know how to handle that. And, and there's one one other thing. A lot of people say, well, I have full coverage. Yes. Full coverage is a term that doesn't mean anything. Mm, good point. Because what does that mean? If you have full coverage, what are the limits of your coverage? How much uninsured motorist coverage do you have? How much liability coverage do you have? Is your uninsured motorist coverage stacking? Mm-hmm. Do you have collision coverage? How big is the deductible? Do you have medical pay insurance? How much medical pay do you have? So there's a lot of questions that when you say full coverage, you don't know what the answer is. You know, before, again, before I got to having these conversations with you, I use the term full coverage to indicate that the car itself was covered, comprehensive coverage for any damage that could happen to the car. And that's just not uh, enough to really consider. No, and... The crazy thing is some people have 10000 liability and $25,000 of property damage. <laughs> now, where where do your, uh, you know, responsibilities lie? You're more, you're more concerned about somebody's car damage than you are to their injuries? And, and, and to be sure, no, nothing wrong with having the right amount of property damage either, but you're right. You have to take a look at that part of it first. Well, Bruce... Thank you so much for shedding some light on this situation. I hope they they follow the advice. Go talk with a professional. Don't try to handle this on their own. And uh, good thing they have the stacking. So that's a good place to start from anyway. Thanks again for weighing in on this. Oh, it's my pleasure, Todd. It's great talking to you as usual. And I can't wait for next week. I'm looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Bruce Elshiner, attorney for the injured. And hopefully a, a good answer, a good path anyway to point our uh, question writer down today. Now, if you'd like to write a question and submit it for future consideration, you can certainly do so through our website. You'll notice that we keep all the personal details out of it. You know, never hear names and stuff like that. So include as much as you want or are comfortable including. And go to kickscountry929.com. Look on the homepage for Bruce Elshiner or just type in the keyword Bruce and you'll get the same result. You'll find an archive of previous conversations with Bruce that might prove helpful to you, but also you'll find the option of sending in a question for future consideration. And in the meantime, I I wouldn't wait. If you've got a legal situation, consult with an attorney for free by calling this number, 941-743-7777, 743-7777. That's Bruce L. Shiner's Port Charlotte office. Call today. And get an appointment so you can consult with somebody who can really, really help you. And be careful in the meantime not to sign anything or say anything or give away your rights, albeit accidentally. Too many people do just that. Protect your interest by calling 941-743-7777. And tell them that Todd sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.